I've never really understood why I get this question so much. Everyone always wants to know how I managed to acquire reasonably priced laptops off eBay. There's really not an underlying secret to my methodology. I don't have any special connections with eBay stores, and I don't get discounts because I run this media business. With a little bit of patience and some know-how, you can easily find cheap laptops on eBay just as I do. Today, I'm going to tell you guys some tips and tricks which will allow you to snag some great deals. Tip number one, know what you want. Don't just type in vague search terms on eBay such as cheap laptops or laptops for sale. Do a little research beforehand to find a model that fits your needs. For example, if you're looking for a school laptop, then an old business line machine such as a ThinkPad T430, Dell Latitude E6410, or an EliteBook 8440p are all excellent choices. To add on to that, I suggest sticking to enterprise and ultra-rugged laptops, as cheap consumer machines and gaming laptops are not as well built and tend not to fare as well through their first owner. Tip number two, avoid try-hard marketing. Colorful, flamboyant images are usually targeting non-tech-savvy shoppers and tend to be priced higher. When skimming through listings, I almost always ignore these as I have yet to find a laptop marketed in this way that has actually been a good deal. Number three, look for laptops that are listed as used as opposed to refurbished because those that are listed as refurbished laptops tend to cost a little bit more. Also, there's no real way to tell if the laptop has actually had any work done to it prior to being sold. And well, that's actually not a bad deal and free shipping, huh? Number four, don't worry about the hard drive or battery. Chances are these are parts that you're going to replace anyway. Stock hard drives get swapped out with new solid state drives and old worn out batteries get replaced. Buying the laptop without a battery or a hard drive usually results in a lower price tag. Tip number five, find a price ceiling that makes sense. So what I'm gonna do here with these T420s is I'm going to skim through all of the buy it now listings and I'm going to find a price ceiling that I am comfortable with, i.e. the max price I wanna pay for one of these T420s. So I saw a listing for $120, here's one for 129, uh, 120 right there, 149, 112, uh, 110, 155, 130. So it looks like a good price ceiling for this would be around 130 bucks. So I'm going to take that price ceiling, enter it into the max price parameter, and use that as a filter. And now, as you can see, we're looking at ThinkPad T420s for under $130. Doing this helps you narrow down your search terms and stay within your budget. So those are my top five. However, I do have some more tips for you guys. So if you buy a laptop, you got it for a great price and it arrives, it turns out it's in excellent condition uh, and you're really happy with the purchase, I highly suggest saving the seller store for later. Um, that's actually what I do a lot of times. I have a couple sellers that I go to again and again just to get laptops from. I'm not getting kickbacks from them or anything, uh, but the prices um, and the product are excellent, so I stick with these sellers. And I will put the links to these sellers down in the description if you guys want to check them out. I'm actually uh, looking at one of those right now. So uh, one of those sellers is We Have Electronics. I've been using them. I've used them for a couple uh, ThinkPad videos. I think I bought a uh, ThinkPad T430 and a ThinkPad uh, T410 from them um, as well, and service from them has been excellent. So if you find a good seller, don't forget to save the seller store. Also, don't be afraid to make a best offer and don't be afraid to lowball. The worst thing that could happen is the seller turns down your offer and that's it. You really don't have anything to lose. So even though this E6400 is being sold for a pretty good price, I would personally probably still make an offer of around 30 bucks and the seller, chances are the seller's gonna counter offer uh, and I would end up getting this laptop for around $35. Also, uh, you know, just the obvious things, the super obvious things, make sure the seller has a good feedback rating, uh, has done at least 500 sales. Of course, make sure that the uh, laptop they're selling has a BIOS image, look through the images, make sure there's nothing uh, apparently wrong with the laptop. On top of that, go through the description, make sure that there is nothing wrong with the laptop, that the seller did not mention in the uh, listing's title. So of course, read through here, read through it carefully. Uh, and above all, don't let a seller screw you over because as a buyer, 
Uh, you actually have a lot of power. I can I can tell you because I sell stuff on eBay, uh, and the buyer has a lot of power over the seller as far as eBay's policies are concerned. So if you get an item that wasn't as advertised, for example, if you buy a laptop and it turns out it has a supervisor password on it, uh, you should be entitled to either a partial or full refund. So do not let a seller screw you over. Make sure you're getting what you paid for. That is going to be it for this video, guys. If you have any other tips for buying laptops off eBay, feel free to leave those down in the comments section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Now, I know a lot of these tips were common sense, and that's the thing when it comes to buying laptops off eBay. A lot of it is just plain and simple common sense. Some of you are probably wondering why I didn't mention anything about auctions in this video, and that's because personally I don't use auctions. I have bought laptops from auctions in the past, and the prices haven't been any better uh, than the buy it now prices. Sometimes uh, they end up being more actually, so usually I just stick to uh, buy it now. So thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.